Greetings to one of comic book readers out there. My comic friend line here and welcome to my comic review from the all new, all different Marvel comic book. And as you can see from the title, I'll be reviewing digitally Power Man Iron Fist, issue number 14. And from what we saw last time, the last issue at the end, Alex Wilder has possession of the Super Soul Stone and turned him into something, well, not so good. We'll find out more about him in this comic issue. So it starts off 19 days ago where Samuel Burren brings back Mr. Fish, who is uh, actually uh, heard that Alex Wilder was behind all this part of uh, killing him. And now he wants to find a way to find him. And meanwhile, we go uh, two days after that, where he is working on something. Here's some artwork, by the way. Which is a little bit sketchy, but pretty good artwork. Where he's working on a spell. And also, not to mention the drug that he's selling as well. So it's up to now. Power Man, Iron Fist, and CM Magisho. Both to go out there. And fight off against Alex Wilder's followers. Who are possessed. So they fight off against them. And luckily for CM Magisho, he uses uh, something that lasts only for a limited time. So with that, Power Man is like saying that they need to find Alex Wilder and stop the supply of a drug that he's given to them. So they go to the clinic when they talk to Linda Carter, who is a night nurse. And they're telling her about, um, you know, about this drug and everything of uh, what's going on and she's saying that there's no cure to uh, the drug that's given and it's just like a whole big dialogue that's talking about it and they need to find out that there might be something that is possessing their souls which is in the drug if that makes any sense so then we go to the outside part of Alex Wilder the base of operations where they're giving the drugs to the people and Jenny, with uh, Black Mariah, is not really uh, being uh, like happy about this. She's just saying, you know, I have a really bad feeling about all this. We see Alex Wilder dealing with this uh, octopus-like creature. That's part of the drugs in the box. And uh, he's trying to come up with more of them in a batch. And he wants to... Uh, let the, the drugs to give up more of their soul to have this drug. So Palme and Iphis go to Jericho Drum, Dr. Voodoo, and Dr. Voodoo tells them that what Alex Wilder is possessing is a demon of redemption. Uh, redemption. And he talks about it, and all in all, with the su super soul stone that he has, what he is trying to uh, possess is not just regular magic, but street magic. Becoming the Grand Master of street magic. And then it goes into, you know, more about uh, Alex Wilder's character. And also the uh, devil in his stomach that uh, talks to him. And uh, he's just saying, you know, street magic always wins. And he's just dro basically trying to say that everything's going to plan. But the box... Remember the octopus thing that was coming out of the box? Is now stolen. And who took the box? Jenny. And he is going to Power Man Iron Fist and tell them about this box. And something evil is inside the box. And when she opens the box, it looks like Jenny went in and Iron Fist tried to save him. But when Power Man went in, Let's just say we look a little bit of an insight of what's inside the box and that is really creepy and it's to be continued until the next issue of Power Man Iron Fist and uh, I believe this is the uh, preview cover for the next issue. So wow, the, that box holds more uh, stuff than any of us could have imagined. And what's going to happen of how they're going to get out of there is going to be another thing. But wow. It's really building up to something really uh, interesting. Uh, we now have Jenny who is trying now to be on Iron 
Fist and Power Man side, so that might be good. But now we have Alex Wilder still, who has the Super Soul Stone possession. So we gotta see how more of that's gonna build up to the story. But it's a really great story. Ring I give an average read between rates of 3 or 3.5 out of 5. Good artwork, stories building up, and looking forward to seeing what more stuff is going to happen in the Power Man Iron Fist series, because this is going to be, it's really heated up right here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the next issue. But with that, guys, that's my comic review of Power Man Iron Fist, issue number 14. Before I go, don't forget to check out sources of comicfrontline.com, so for podcast.com, and the YouTube game channel, Frontline Gaming Zone. Do you know more sources for comic and game related news reviews and a whole bunch more? Leave your comments in the comment section below of your thoughts or anything you have to say about the comic book. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. And please, as always, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we are Comic Frontline and we give you guys videos each and every day on a daily basis of whatever videos that we do. And you won't want to miss out on any videos that we upload daily. So to all your comic book readers out there, Mike Comic Frontline saying take care. And as always, don't forget, keep watching. Hey, everybody.